This is Twit. Uh, if somebody wanted to try out a custom iPhone lock screen, how do they get started with that? Well, the uh, easiest thing to do, Micah, for most folks is going to be to... Uh, First of all, make sure your device is actually unlocked. Um, and then from your home screen, you can actually just tap and hold, just like you would if you were trying to rearrange your home screen. So from the lock screen, you can tap and hold. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of options. If you've got multiple lock screens already, that's okay. You can uh, add a new one um, and change between them. Uh, but I'm going to start by creating a new one because I like to... I like uh, looking at these options. So I can see that there are some featured ones. Um, so there's astronomy. Uh, there's some color ones. There's some emoji ones. There's iOS 18. There's some suggested photos, including a picture of my dad being very silly uh, in a, a shop the other day. Um, and uh, I can see some weather and astronomy combinations, which are really nice. Kaleidoscope, which are just very pretty and uh, sensible uh, in many ways, but also a little whimsical. Um, and then if you scroll down, there's options like uh, the um, more details of the emoji ones, the unity ones, pride ones, which are really gorgeous. Look at that purple there. I love it. Um, obviously, if I was doing pride, I'd go for rainbow personally, but you know, there's, there's choices. Um, and then there's some other options as well. And what I really like, if you scroll down to the color ones, it's really obvious some of the other things that you can do in your lock screen that stand out a little bit more here. So, for example, um, if I look at the color options at the bottom, I can see that there's three different font faces being used on the time, which is quite nice. And I can also see the information about the time changes. So I am going to be uh, true to myself and I'm going to tap on the purple one to create a purple one. And this has now popped up my lock screen. So there's a bunch of different things that I can do here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be just swiping back and forth, left and right, to find the right color combination for me. So there is just solid color. Uh, there's bright, uh, there's vapor, deep um, uh, tone, and vibrant. And as well as this, I can also adjust the color myself uh, to be something a little different if I want to. Now, depending on what kind of screen you've picked, um, it is going to offer different options. So like, for example, the emoji screen, you'd need to pick your emoji, and then there's options for like doing a swirl effect and things like that. So having chosen our background, which is, you know, the biggest uh, option, I'll start at the top and work down. So right at the top, we've got widgets. And I don't know about you, Micah, but uh, I love a good widget on my lock screen yes. because I can just have the right information there. So at the moment, this is showing me the date and the weather. So it says it's Tuesday the 7th, which is the day we're recording this. There's a little moon with some stars because it's a uh, pretty open sky tonight. And it's two degrees. That is Celsius for clarity. Uh, but it's, it's pretty <laughs> chilly. It's not yet yeah. freezing. But I can, I can choose to change this. So I can change it to use carrot weather. I can use calendar. Um, and I can have it show me the date or my next event, which is quite nice. And I personally do quite like having the next event show up because that way, you know, I, I can see how long I've got until the next thing. Um, I've got an option to create a new contact with card hop. Um, and then I've got some more carrot options. I've got cheat sheet. So if I want a little note to myself there, um, I can have a clock so I can see what the time is in a particular city. Uh, my alarms. I've got dark noise, drafts, all sorts of options. I can even put flighty here. So if you're making a travel home screen so that you can have different information like on your lock screen at a glance, then you have uh, that. Um, so I am going to start by, I'm just going to scroll back up a little bit. I'm just going to choose my next event here. So I can see now it's the 7th of January and I've got ballet at 7.55 p.m. Underneath that, we have our clock. Um, and now, starting in the top left, if you tap on that, then you can actually choose what kind of numbers you want. Um, and so there's uh, Western Arabic, which is what most people traditionally know as the numbers. Uh, and there's all of the options uh, from Urdu to Burmese and many more, some of which I probably can't pronounce without doing somebody a grave disservice. So I will steer <laughs> from, away from that. Um, and then underneath this, we have our fonts. Um, and then we also have colors. So I can make this rainbow, uh, which is really nice. It doesn't work super well with this background. Uh, but maybe if I make it a little bolder um, or something, or um, hmm, I think I'm going to stick with the rainbow and... 
uh, there we go. Let's try to make this stand out a little bit more. Perfect. Uh, so maybe make that a bit bolder. There we go. So now I have a rainbow clock uh, because everyone likes a rainbow on their lock screen. Um, <laughs> and again, you can choose from all the colors. You can um, increase the thickness or make it super thin if you want to. So, you know, you can make it work for you and for your eyes and your brain so that you can, you know, easily see it. And then underneath this, we have space for four small square widgets or two long rectangular widgets so you can put a whole bunch of things here i quite often pop a little battery one there and once you've added a widget you can tap on it and then you've got some control so i can customize this so i can specify that hey i want to know what the battery level of my apple watch is thank you very much i don't want you changing automatically to the airpods that i'm currently wearing i want the apple watch i would like to know what the time is but maybe not in cupertino can i find portland so that i can keep track of micah um there we go. Now I have the time in Portland. Um, and uh, there's all sorts of uh, options here. And it depends on what apps you've got installed. Uh, but if you're looking for a way to, oh, I don't know, customize your widgets, perhaps, uh, I have to say, Widgetsmith is a nice option because you can create your own widgets and they're really pretty. And they've just had an AI assistant too. So definitely recommend that. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePodOS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit to see all of iOS Today.